welcome back to my channel. This is Sensei Yuri to see Chavez. <coughs> if you're new to this channel, then make sure to subscribe so you can join the fun. Okay, like today, I'm to you guys on a little vlog of my day. Okay, I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and then I don't know. So actually, this coffee shop that I'm going to, I love. I've taken you guys with me once before. It's called Second Cup. And they relocated. So I haven't been able to go for the past couple of months. And it just opened like a, a week or two ago. And, and I'm just so excited to go. Because they actually don't serve my favorite croissant on the weekends. Oh no, the weekend. Oh no, the week. During the week finally gonna have my croissant so yeah i'm just gonna take you guys along with me i'm gonna devour that i'm gonna feed myself spiritually and physically so come along if you pump gas without a glove what are you doing what are you doing ever since covid happened i literally got myself a glove box and i just have to because it made me realize y'all we be doing some outrageous stuff out here and then we be touching all these outrageous well this isn't really outrageous well kind of is it outrageous it's gas outrageous let's go on a rabbit hole right now because this planet but on a serious note like it just made me realize that that is so disgusting and i don't want to be touching that the main reason i do this aside from the fact that those knobs are disgusting and whatever it's the fact that like you touch your phone after and then you also on the phone later so then you put all these germs on your cheek and i just can't i can't my cheeks cannot be having that going on absolutely not not after microbiology y'all i'm low-key a germaphobe but not really not to not extreme you know but i do be thinking about germs a lot and so the fact that everybody touches those knobs and then i touch my phone right after just don't add up to me so i recommend that you go to your local gas station no <laughs> to your local dollar store and you get yourself some of these second cup closed at 2 p.m so i literally pulled up the last minute i felt so bad but i had to i had to get this croissant so we're gonna open it together i took it to go i came to this other coffee shop i forgot what it's called but it seemed like it was cute it seemed like it was a vibe i have to edit videos i don't want to edit at home so yeah i'm gonna eat it in my car so i have my croissant right here oh my god you guys i'm so excited I cannot. I literally cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I'm so excited. Y'all like, don't even understand. So I got the A A2 breakfast sandwich and I got my sweet toff sweet. I forgot what it's called. Anyways. <laughs> take my first bite of the sandwich and i just can't deal i can't deal look what i'm posting isn't this the cutest thing ever i took a picture of the croissant and i just i had to show it extra love you know what i'm saying like i i don't think y'all understand what i'm about to embark in like these taste buds are ready <laughs> y'all don't even understand how ready i am for this i don't even know where to bite in um you know what whatever And fun where life goes. So 
while I was waiting for my sandwich to be ready, I did read my devotional and it was really nice. I want to share it with you guys. Basically, it talks about surrendering, surrendering your goals to Jesus because you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. Amen. I can't even talk to y'all. This can't even be a mukbang. If you want to watch me eat, go right ahead because I'm digging it. <gasps> y'all, I just realized that I started eating because I was so excited and I forgot to pray. Oh my goodness. I mean, I was worshiping. But still, I want to go ahead and pray for this food. So if you want to join me in my prayer. Lord, thank you so much for this food. I am so blessed to be here present with my subscribers. Trying to enjoy the day. Trying to make the most out of it. I thank you for another beautiful day of life. A beautiful day of love and of health. I ask that you bless the hands that cooked this food. Please bless the hands that bought this food. And please bless the hands that don't have anything to eat today, Lord. Allow this to be nourishing to our bodies. And allow myself and my subscribers to have a meaningful conversation that glorify you. It's in your name I pray. Amen. Okay, so... Y'all, if I could rate this, like, out of 10, this would be, like, a 13. I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying. Like, this is so good. There's something about this croissant that it's, like, so sweet. Not so sweet. It's perfectly sweet. Not too sweet. Not too, like, that. You know? But I just, I love it so much. I do want to talk to you guys about the devotional that I was able to read while they were preparing my croissant. So let me pull out my devotional book. This is my new devotional book. I don't know if I ever showed, I did, I think I did show my other little green one. And I ended up giving it away. I didn't want to, I didn't want to, but the Holy Spirit told me to and I ended up giving it to this person. And this person was actually very, very, very grateful that I gave it to her. And I just knew that it was meant to be. Like, that was literally God. So, I ended up going to the store and I bought this devotional book. Today is January the 7th. And I read Don't Be Afraid. It basically derives from the book of Genesis, uh, chapter 15, where it says, Don't be afraid, Abram. I am your shield. Abram believed the Lord. And it just talks about how he didn't believe that he was going to have, like, a whole descendant of, like, family line but the lord spoke to him he comforted him he told him Abram, you do not need to be afraid i will protect you and your descendants your descendants will be as numerous as the stars in the heavens so i did highlight a couple of things that spoke out to me and i just want to read them to you guys i read the first one which is what jesus basically told abram and yeah this devotional basically reads faith always means that you trust in god for your future Despite the fact that the present seems rather dismal, okay? Sometimes things look foggy. We don't understand why they're going on, but there's a reason. And if you ask God, God is so good. The Lord is so good. He will give you revelation if he knows that's going to help you understand things better. If it will draw you closer to him. If it's the perfect timing for you to understand why things are going on the way they are supposed to in his perfect timing, right? It also says the Lord also knows what is going on in your heart. Today, he wants to offer his protection to you too, as he did to Abram. He undertakes to protect you in the year ahead and to fulfill every one of his promises. Tell him all about your fears and worries he wants to exchange them for his protection and peace so that you can step into the new year with him filled with courage and hope amen yes pop off in the little prayer at the end says heavenly father thank you that i don't need to be afraid of the year ahead strengthen my faith so that i will trust steadfastly in you and your promises amen but yeah you guys i actually want to make a video pretty soon talking about not being afraid or anxious about what the future holds for you because if you're walking in his righteous path, if you're seeking him, the Bible says first, not to lean on your own understanding because his ways are different than your ways, but also like if you align yourself with him, he will make your steps according to his will. Like he will make them straight. He will make your path flourish. So why worry? And why live stressed? And why have fear over the future? That's so exciting. You don't know what the future holds? How incredible. If you're living for God, if you're seeking Him, if you are obeying Him, and you believe in Him, like, come on. Come on. You will literally see things as a blessing or a blessing in disguise. And I tell you this, because I used to tell my small group in my house, like, y'all, I see things as a blessing, a blessing in disguise. And I would get weird looks. Like, 
what are you on girl what are you on <laughs> even in my internship i would tell like the, the interns at church like no i just get so excited when things don't go my way because if they don't go my way then i know they will go even better you know and they'll just look at me like what are you on i'm high for jesus that's what i'm on i'm high for jesus but now i have people coming to me talking about sitsy i understand now what you're talking about I used to think that you were crazy but like no like god does make your path straight if you do seek him and like i'm able to see him through the midst of like circumstances that are super tough in my life and it's just incredible and it makes me fall in love more with him and i'm like period period and, period, uh. and i want that for you who is watching across the screen because jesus is good if he could do it in my life he could do it in your life if he can soften my heart he can soften your heart if he can renew my mind he can renew your mind you're no different me so yeah you guys um this is so good and i'm about to finish it tell your devil what's up hey Jesus. So I just finished my croissant and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to walk in with my coffee. Like, that's weird. They're gonna be like, ma'am, you can't be walking in with that. I don't know if to hide my coffee. I'm not gonna buy another one because I, I drink very slow. They, they're, if there's one thing about me, I drink very slow. And it's just like, why am I gonna buy another one? I could just ask for water and be like, hey, can I get a water? And what's your Wi-Fi password? I'm very excited for this coffee shop because it seems like there's a lot of like greenery inside and I love me some plants. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna go in. I don't know what to hide my cup. Should I hide my coffee? I'm getting closer to you. Do you realize that? <laughs> I had to leave some space between us. No, I just had to eat comfortably, you know? But anyways, um, yeah. Let's go. What should I do, y'all? Should I have my coffee in my purse? And then just like randomly take it out? I don't know. I don't know. Should I just ask for water and not drink coffee while I edit? Mm. I also feel like I'm overthinking this so much. So I think I'm just gonna... What do I do? I feel bad because if they're like, lady, what are you doing? You, This isn't our coffee. I'm gonna be like... I'm sorry, do you want it? <laughs> I'm sorry, but you need to try this. This is good. <laughs> Where should I, I don't know what to do. Mm. All right, y'all. I'm just going to go. I'll see what I do. Stay tuned. <laughs> I was able to edit two videos, so I'm excited about that. I'm not fully done. I still got to do some touches here and there, but I am about to be on my way to church service because the home church that I found recently, not too long ago, which I'm so excited about, has service on Saturdays instead of Sundays because Sundays we go evangelize. Like, come on, we are an active community, hands and feet of Christ. But I was so excited, you guys, and now I'm even more excited because Angel texted me. He was like, hey, Sitsi, make sure that you go to church because God has something for you. And I was like, oh, period, period, uh, because I'm actually on my way. So now I'm even more excited for whatever Jesus Christ has for me. That was so scary. I'm sorry. Bye. Hey y'all, so I just got to church. Y'all, I love the little palms. It's giving what it has to give. So here's my church and I'm about to make my way there. I'm so ready to worship y'all. Hey you guys, so I just left church and I am currently outside of Chipotle. I don't even eat Chipotle like that. I have some of my friends right now inside ordering their food. So I'm just hanging out um, outside and I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys how wonderful God is. Like I will never get tired of saying it, but the way he works is just so incredible you guys. And I just, I can't. I had such an amazing time in church and it was in my heart 
the Holy Spirit told me to go pray over this girl and she is handicapped so it's crazy because the pastor was literally hitting so many points that I just had to hear um, but then there came a point where he was like you know what do you say when you are faced with circumstances that are kind of hard to pray over, you know? And in that case, I mean, like, there's only so much you can say, I feel like, personally, right? Um, whenever you are praying over somebody that God has allowed for them to have something going on specifically, right? And y'all, and I tell y'all that the Lord just put it in my heart to be bold and to go over and pray for this girl. And then after a while, it dawned on me like, no, you have to pray over, yeah, like pray over the girl, right? But like specifically, it's the mom that you have to go pray over. So I was like, oh, okay, I see what you're doing, do you? <laughs> so then service was over and then I um, walked over to the little girl, but her mom was gone. Her mom was actually at the altar and she was getting prayed over. So I sat next to the little girl. I I was just like praying over her and stuff and then I was just thinking like okay I'll wait until the mom comes back and then I can like pray over her right but then the Holy Spirit was like no what are you waiting for I'm talking to her right now go pray to her right now so then I did I went over to that lady and y'all when I tell y'all I wasn't even like a minute into praying over her she like fell to her knees and started sobbing and then we just had this whole intimate moment y'all i kid y'all not today is actually her third day here in texas she came from alabama because god spoke to her son in a dream her son is 13 years old you guys uh saying that he would be proud when he sees that family of three come to texas and then here they are it was so wonderful towards the end we all just gathered and you know blessed her financially and it was just so beautiful to see the body of christ come together to help a sister in christ that is new and is obedient that believes is seeking and is being obedient to jesus christ i just couldn't move hard y'all so i came here with some friends to basically just digest what happened which is so beautiful and i give god all glory for um but yeah so i just wanted to come out here and tell y'all so i didn't even get to record like my friends eating chipotle but we were too busy digesting what happened at church i am just now getting to miss ashley martinez's house we're about to just hang out <laughs> Sure, bro. We're watching Twilight. See Draco. <laughs> what do we have here? We got quotes. No. <laughs> Wait, I have to say. see that. Actually, okay. It's very 2000s of you. <laughs> and the fact that Setsi's vlogging it is also the beginning of 2010. You know when that right. YouTube got kind of big? Yes. That era there. We're starting it over. And like, sure. Doing nothing. And then she has. <laughs> Not only the books, but she has an apple and candles. Oh my god, you have an apple next to me. <laughs> I can't. No, this is actually giving. Like, good job. You're a great host. We are now on the second movie. What is it called? New Moon. New Moon. Oh, I should have read that. Okay, New Moon. So it, it goes in order. We literally love that. I'm not the biggest Twilight fan, but, but she will be today. I mean, will be <laughs> Yeah, but y'all, this whole Twilight thing is a little too extra. A little too extra because it's the funny. Yeah, oh, it is. The movie? Yeah. Yeah, 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 like the, the whole acting. Cringe. She's but like, it's cool. Like it's it's <laughs> interesting to laugh at. She's um, like anyway, cross-eyed. <laughs> we just finished watching the second movie, and I want to show y'all Ashley's room. Y'all, look at this mirror. I need something like this in my life. <laughs> y'all. Uh, <laughs> Stay tuned, you guys. <laughs> You guys, oh, okay. <laughs> there's a storm out. Oh, oh, dream, 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 <laughs> dream, dream. <laughs> I live like five minutes away from Miss Ashlow. Um, but it sounds kind of dangerous outside. Um, can this focus, please? Oh, it's, a, it's the eighth now. Oh, technically. Yes, it's past midnight. 
The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Amen. Your love, O oh Lord, endures forever. Amen. Psalms 138. Amen. Amen. We loved it. So I tried this. <laughs> I don't think. His mush. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.